Hello, in this video I will discuss a question on elasticity. This question was given in JAM 2014 Biotechnology paper. In paper code A, the question number 72 was The dimensions of shear strain are Option A, M to the power 0, L to the power 1, T to the power minus 2 Option B, M to the power 1, L to the power 1 t to the power minus 2, option c, m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0, option d, m to the power 0, l to the power 0, t to the power 0. Okay, now what is shear strain? Suppose this is a three-dimensional object. It can be any object, okay? Now, a force F is applied to it in this direction, in this direction, okay? So, due to this force, this object is deformed to an angle to an angle phi suppose this angle is phi and it becomes so after application of this force this object becomes this denoted by this red one okay that is this object is deformed to an angle phi. Okay. Now, this phi is given by the ratio of the length of deformation. That is, if it is x, then the length of deformation is x. This is x, okay? I'm again writing. This is x. Before applying this force, the object was here. This was the object, the blue one. And after applying this force, this object is deformed to this red one okay so deformed to an angle phi and the length of deformation is x okay now the length of this object perpendicular to the plane of applied force is suppose this is l this is given by l then shear strain is given by shear strain is equals to angle of deformation here the angle of deformation is phi that is phi okay and the angle of deformation is the ratio of length of deformation divided by the perpendicular length in the plane of applied force that is equals to the length of deformation means x divided by the perpendicular length 
of uh, to this plane of applied force is L okay and this is phi right so phi is equals to x by L this is shear strain so if you write the dimension of x and L you get the dimension of x is simply the dimension of length that is L and dimension of L is again dimension of length that is again L and these two cancels out and we get phi or shear strain as dimension less right so if we go to the question and see the options here i hope you all know that this m stands for mass l stands for length and t stands for time okay now as we get phi or shear strain as dimension less we get mass 0 length 0 and time 0 so the correct answer is option d as the dimensions of shear strain are m0 l0 t0 okay i hope you could understand the solution if you have any query let me know in the comment section if you have any query related to elasticity please let me know in the comment section if you like my video click on the like button share it with your friends and subscribe my channel Thank you.